Welcome back to Mind Pump TV. I'm your host, Adam Schaefer. Today, I'm gonna to be teaching you guys a proper push-up. Only I'm gonna put a little bit of a spin on this, and this is just because all the years that I've been teaching push-ups, I've found there's a lot of like common mistakes that people make, and so I do what's called a hand-release push-up. So I'm gonna teach you guys the hand-release push-up, and then I'll also explain to you why I do that, because a lot of people, when they first are learning how to do a push-up properly, they tend to feel it in their shoulders and arms, and they don't feel it in their chest very well, and there's a reason for that, and I think I've got a cue for you that will help you out. All right, so here's a, a little cue that I like to teach my clients when teaching them how to do a proper push-up. Now, first of all, we're gonna do what's called a hand-release push-up, and what that is is at the bottom of the push-up, we're going to let go of the floor or bring our hands off the floor and pull the shoulder blades back. And the reason why I like teaching a push-up this way is because one of the most common mistakes that people make when they do push-ups is they have their shoulders rolled out in front of them and then when they bend at the elbow, everything is in their shoulders and their arms and they're not even really working their chest out because they don't know how to retract the shoulder girdle and keep it in that position while pressing up. So that's the reason why we're gonna do the hand release. The next question I get a lot when doing teaching a push-up is where do I place my hands and where do I start? So this is what I like to do. I like to take the clients in a kneeling position. They have their hands down right by their side. They're sitting up tall and straight. You bring your hands right up into a T, then you bring out in front of you, and then you retract straight back where you squeeze your back. Now right here is right where my hands are gonna be. So if I can imagine how my back feels right now in this position, this is how I'm gonna get down into that floor position. So when I come down, I allow myself to pull the hands up off the floor. And this is getting my back engaged because I want the shoulder blade squeezed and then I press up through the floor, come all the way back down, leave your hands off the floor again, reminding myself to squeeze the shoulder blades. That's all this really is, is to remind myself to peel those shoulder blades back and then press up with the chest. Now the other mistake that clients make a lot is from this position down low, is they don't keep a rigid back and they do this and they push up with their low back and their low back arching. So when you're down in this position, I squeeze the back, I tighten my abs and then I push through the floor. Come all the way down, tighten my abs, squeeze my back, press through the floor. Come all the way down, squeeze my back, press through the floor. Keeping those abs tight the entire time so that we don't have this major excessive arch in the low back. Now, everyone's gonna be a little bit different as far as how wide you go. And that's why I like to do the side test, come in front and then retract because it should bring you right back to about a 90 degree bend. Now that doesn't mean if you bring your arms a little bit in, does it make it wrong? But if you bring it in, the more you start to bring your hands in, the more triceps are involved. The further you flare out, as you start to flare up, the more shoulders involved. So you wanna put your hands in a nice comfortable position that the chest is the primary mover, but that doesn't mean that you can't play with the hand placement to work different parts of your upper body. So a push-up actually can be really challenging. You have to support your entire body weight. You have to keep your abs tight. You have to know how to keep the shoulders retracted. So a lot of times clients have a really hard time doing this and then feeling it in the right area. So I don't care uh, how strong you think you are or even if you can press out 10 or 15 push-ups, if you're not doing them properly, you're not feeling them where you're supposed to, I highly recommend that you do a regression to the movement first and then work up with having good mechanics before you start to do a full push-up. One way to do that is actually to go from your knees. So your starting position is just like we talked about before, sit up tall and straight, the hands come in front, retract, you get yourself in that hand position, but you're gonna go from your knees. So I have my hands in that position. I still start all the way from the floor. I bring the feet up off the ground, retract, squeeze the back, and then make sure the abs are tight, press through the floor, come all the way down, squeeze the back again, abs tight, press through the floor, come all the way down, squeeze the back, abs tight, press through the floor. Listen, if you guys liked that video, it helped you out. Make sure you guys like, subscribe, and share the video. If you have any questions regarding the video, just leave in the comments below. We'll be coming back periodically and answering your guys' comments. Also, if you guys want more information regarding on how to build a chest, we actually have a free guide that we created for you. Just click the link below.